What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I am back with another channel message. I hope everyone is doing okay and staying safe. We're going to hop right into it. We're just going to freestyle y'all. I keep getting downloads and it be blocking my my moments to freestyle. <laughs> so Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like for us to know at this time? What general messages do you have for us, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like for us to know from you through me, Holy Spirit? Messages. What messages do you have for my collective at this time? What is it that you would like for them to know? Let's go. Messages. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the King of Swords here. So someone's decision to embark on a new path in life currently has them struggling. This King of Swords energy here, he decided to try something new, possibly a new job opportunity or a business venture here, but he's currently facing some setbacks because of it. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? We have the King of Pentacles. I feel like he thought that this new venture was going to be profitable for him. But there was some allusions to whatever this was that he decided to become involved in. I don't feel like he did all of his research with this three, excuse, I said three of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles. Maybe he collaborated with some people to do something to go into some type of business deal here and it didn't work out the way he wanted to. Yeah, I'm with the Six of Pentacles. He didn't realize that whatever he was involving himself in had other attachments to it. With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like he didn't realize that he was going to have to be giving to so many different avenues in order to pursue this business venture. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know at this time here? Ooh, these cards at my... We have the Eight of Pentacles. What is that? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Eight of Swords. I feel like that this King of Swords, he has, whatever he has tied himself into, he has to work with that. He has to continue putting all of his resources into it. It's like he's locked himself into whatever this is here. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? I feel like that's what I'm seeing here with this Eight of Pentacles, this Ace of Cups, and this Eight of Swords. Whatever this is, he, he is forced to invest into this. We have the Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, he really want to get the hell on through, okay? But he knows that he's already made some form of commitment, that he's already and locked himself into this and it would not be the wise or practical thing to do it's going to cause him more problems if he just tries to misle his way out of whatever this is that he's locked himself into but he he feels like there may be a possibility a way out of this okay if he keeps doing the right thing and not again try to slink his way up out of whatever this situation is but i don't really think he can if he wanted to i feel like he's locked into this somehow that he has to invest like there's no turning back now okay i gotta keep going with this shit and see it through to the end that's what i'm getting here that you know if i keep going that i will possibly get a ten of cups out of whatever this situation is here that I will have a victory. 
What else, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> we have the Page of Swords. It's giving me the light at the end of the tunnel type of vibe. Like there's something that he can see the possibilities of what this could be for him. But he just got to be able to keep this shit balanced. He got to be able to keep it going, okay? He got to balance, continue to balance his budget for sure. If he wants to eventually be able to remain and reside in this boss energy. I feel like this was a boss move that he made that maybe he wasn't quite ready for. But he's still going to try to see it through. Because he knows if he's able to balance the situation in his favor, he going to be a boss in the end. Okay? He took this risk. He made a he made what he thought was a good judgment and took this risk. And it's still, you know, we still on the fence if it's going to pan out for him. But I feel like he's seen something or he has some type of indication that's letting him know that if he keep going, he might win in the end. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know about this energy here? <coughs> Excuse me. What else, Holy Spirit, we had? Well, it went back in. Light at the end of the tunnel. I'm telling you, this man is feeling like if he keeps going, <coughs> excuse me, if he keeps going, that he will get the reward in the end. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Okay, so I don't know who this message for. This is pretty specific right here. One second, y'all. I had to wet my throat but this is this is kind of specific this is a it's a masculine out here who's taking some sort of risk financially some some form of business venture okay and he has been having to invest a lot of his resources into it there are some things that he didn't realize he was going to have to be dealing with when he first signed up for this but the Holy Spirit is, is is saying, I'm getting that whatever this is that you see will be profitable for you. If you keep going with it, there is a possibility that you will get what you're going to get from it. Okay? You know, it is a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, what you... Excuse me? Ooh, spiritual belt, honey. I'm trying to tell you. What you feeling and thinking about this business venture, what you're believing is true. That's what I feel. <clears throat> what else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for this energy to know at this time? We have the Six of Cups. This commitment that you made in the beginning to go in this direction, the Holy Spirit is saying, don't, don't give up now. Okay, don't refuse that that judgment and that effort and that commitment that you made in the past. Look, this is you at first. You was all you was going all in in the beginning. Now you wanting to just, you know, you were considering not even investing anymore. But you got to. You can't stop. And the Holy Spirit is saying, don't try to stop. Go with your gut. Go with your intuition that this is something you need to keep working at and pursuing and that it's going to be profitable for you. It's going to give you that all around solid foundation and abundance that you want. Okay? Yeah, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be hard. You're going to feel like giving up. But continue to manifest what it is that you saw in the vision you had in the beginning. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, with the motivational message, Holy Spirit. Somebody need to hear this. I feel like you got a partner. A Queen of Swords energy who has been sticking in there with you. Helping you face facts. giving, Telling you some hard truths at time about the reality of y'all situation. But she's still right there by your side. I don't feel like... Y'all are at odds. Maybe y'all are having some issues right now, but I feel her Queen of Swords energy is in a negative vibe to me. 
okay? 10.01 on the phone. I feel like she's somebody who has been trying to hang in there with you and be persistent. But don't push her away now with this 10 of wands. Don't, don't force her on out the door because I feel like she's in your corner. Maybe y'all have been beefing lately because you're under a lot of pressure with this business venture, with whatever this is that you're having to invest in right now. But stop and reflect on who is in your corner and who wants you to have justice, who you can have justice with. And I feel like, you know, this Queen of Swords has, has stood by your side and fought the battle with you. She's had her sword up as well. Okay, so I'm just hearing, don't, don't, and we just had a, sp a spiritual confirmation, a notification. Don't allow her to walk away from you. Don't push her away because she is in your corner. That's what I'm getting. But this is some kind of collaboration, something you invested in some form of business venture that it's not just you who is involved in it but i feel like you have a good amount of stock invested into whatever this is and this is why you're trying to balance things now in your life okay but again i feel like god is saying go with your gut go with your gut on this one with the Seven of Swords, you had a plot, you had a plan. You know, don't don't back out now. Stick with it. You you saw that you could have a that there was a rainbow at the end of that tunnel, that it was a ten of cups at the end of that tunnel. Okay. We had death in the nine of pentacles. Put it into this feeling of you know that you're not going to be able to be abundant because I feel like you are going to be abundant. This Nine of Pentacles is giving me that that entrepreneurial, independent energy, 1221 on the phone, that you know you are going to be successful in the long run, that this is going to pay off for you. But you have to put it into this pessimism this is that's the word i feel like you're being very pessimistic about what's happening right now because it is being a struggle everything ain't gonna come easy now it that just don't even you know what i'm saying everything is not gonna come easy you can put a lot of love and energy and positive positive vibes into something but your ass also got to put some work into it okay it takes consistency dedication persistence okay strength endurance 13 13 on the phone it ain't just an idea and a passion and a belief and a hope to make something work to make something be profitable to be a ten of cups Okay, it take a little bit more than that. And it definitely takes consistency. Okay. Any final messages for this masculine Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want him to know at this time? Anything else here? Anything else, Holy Spirit? We have the five of swords. Continue to have that win at all cost mentality. Okay, you know, get, get, get angry, get hungry, get, you know, put some energy, some oomph into what you've been going hard for so far. Don't stop now because it's getting hard. Keep going hard. Okay. So I think I'm going to close the reading here. This was short and sweet, but this was a specific message. So I'm going to put it out. I feel like somebody can ben benefit from this. It's, I feel like everybody can get something out of the message. Okay, so I'm going to put this out. I asked everyone to tap in. So somebody tapped in. So I hope this message reached your ears and gives you the insight and clarification that you've been looking for. But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, y'all. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.